can you solve this math challenge? Here's the question. Given this equation, square root of 2 times x cubed plus x plus 1 equals 0, wherein a, b, c are the roots of this equation, then the goal in this question is to evaluate a raised to the p power plus b raised to the p power plus c raised to the p power. So pause this video right now and see if you can answer this question because I will show you the solution, two different solutions in 3, 2, 1. Alright, so given this equation, square root of 2 times x cubed plus x plus 1 equals 0, then I said earlier that I will provide two different methods to answer this. And the first one is called the algebra method or the algebra approach. And the second is through the use of the Newton sum identity. So let's begin with our first method, algebra approach. Now to answer this, we will use what we call the Bieta's formula. And using the Bieta's formula, given this cubic equation, we can say that the sum of the roots of this cubic equation is the coefficient of x squared, which is 0. So a plus b plus c equals 0. And the pairwise product of the roots, a b plus a c plus b c, is equivalent to the coefficient of x divided by the coefficient of x cubed, which is 1 over square root of 2. And the product of the roots is the negative of the constant term divided by the coefficient of x cubed, which is square root of 2. So the product of the roots is negative 1 over root 2. And now we will use those equivalent later on. Now at this point, let's focus on this equation. And what we're going to do is to subtract x on both sides and subtract 1 on both sides. And then divide both sides by square root of 2. So if x cubed equals negative x minus 1 over square root of 2 and factor out negative 1 on the numerator, this will give us x cubed equals negative of x plus 1 over root 2. Now, let's focus on this result. And since we want a raised to the p power plus b raised to the p power plus c raised to the p power, so we need x squared. And to do that, divide both sides by x. So x squared equals negative of x plus 1 over x times square root of 2. Now, what we're going to do here is to multiply these two equations because we want here x raised to the p power. And if we multiply these two result, we have x cubed plus x squared, which is x raised to the p power. And these two, we need to simplify this. So let's focus on this. The left-hand side is we know x raised to the p power. And the right-hand side, we have x squared plus 2x plus 1 all over 2x. Now, rearrange some terms a little bit on the numerator. And then divide all of this term by 2x. This will give us 1 plus x over 2 plus 1 over 2x. Now, on these two terms, let's factor out 1 over 2 like this. And now, we will focus on this equation. Since we want a cubed plus b cubed plus c cubed, so what we're going to do is to replace all x by a. So we have this equation. Next, replace all x with b. So we have b raised to the p power. And replace all x with c, which is the roots of this equation. And now, we want the sum of a raised to the p power plus b raised to the p power plus a raised to the p power. So if we add these three equations, we have something like a raised to the p power plus b raised to the p power plus a raised to the p power. This is what we want to find. Equals 3, which is 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 over 2, multiply by the sum of a plus b plus c, plus the sum of 1 over a, 1 over b, and 1 over c. And now, let's focus on this result. And here comes, the Bieta's formula comes into play, because we know the sum of a plus b plus c, this is just 0. So we can replace this with 0. And 0 plus 1 over a plus 1 over b plus 1 over c is still 1 over a plus 1 over b plus 1 over c. And if we simplify this expression inside the parenthesis, we have something like ab plus ac plus bc all over a plus b plus c. And now let's focus on this result because we will use again the Bieta's relation or the Bieta's formula. Now we know the numerator is 1 over root 2 and the denominator is negative 1 over root 2. Now simplify. They're just the same thing. So positive divided by a negative, this is just negative 1. 
1 over 2 times negative 1 is negative 1 over 2. 3 minus 1 over 2, this will give us 5 over 2. And that is the answer to this question. So, given this equation, square root of 2x cubed plus x plus 1 equals 0, then the sum of a b plus c is equivalent to 5 over 2. So, using algebra approach. So, how about using the Newton sum? So, let's begin with our second method, the Newton sum. And here it is. And to make this simple, I know this is not simple. There's a lot of notation. So, to make this simple, so for example, we have a cubic equation, ax cubed plus bx squared plus cx plus d equals 0. And now from here, let s sub k be equal to a raised to k plus b raised to k plus c raised to k. So in short, s sub 1 is a plus b plus c, and s sub 5 is equivalent to a raised to the p power plus b raised to the p power plus c raised to the p power, and that's what we want. So the Newton sum tells us, so we need the coefficient of x cubed, x squared, x, and the constant term b. So the Newton sum says, a multiplied by s sub 1 plus 1 times b, the coefficient of x squared, equals 0. The second, this is the pattern, a multiplied by s sub 2 plus b times s sub 1 plus 2 times c, which is the coefficient of x, equals 0. And continuing this pattern, we have a times s sub 3 plus b times s sub 2 plus c times s sub 1 plus 3 times t, which is the constant term, equals 0. And we will do the pattern again. At this point, we don't have any constant, so no need to multiply by 4. So a multiplied by s sub 4 plus b times s sub 3 plus c times s sub 2 plus d times s sub 1 equals 0. And finally, to get s sub 5, this is the equation using the pattern. So this is the Newton sum. Now we will use this concept to answer this question because we want a sub 5 plus b sub 5 plus c sub 5 or s sub 5. All right, so getting our equation. Now let's insert the coefficient of x squared, which is 0. So we have plus 0 x squared. Now according to Newton's sum, this is square root of 2 times s sub 1 plus 1 times 0 equals 0. So this is the first one. The coefficient of x cubed is square root of 2 and so on and so forth. And following the pattern, of the Newton sum, we have those equations. Square root of 2 times s sub 2 plus 0 times s sub 1 plus 2 times 1 equals 0 and so on and so forth until we reach s sub 5 because we want a raised to the p power plus b raised to the p power plus a raised to the p power. Now from here, let's focus on the first equation because we will solve each equation. So let's begin. 1 times 0 is 0. So s sub 1 here is just 0. So we know from the Vieta's formula a while ago, the sum of the roots a plus b plus c is just 0. And this is true. All right. Now, getting the second equation, we know 0 times s sub 1 is 0. 2 times 1 is 1. So we have square root of 2 times s sub 2 plus 2 equals 0. Solving for s sub 2, we have s sub 2 equals negative 2 over square root of 2, which is a squared plus b squared plus c squared. And the equivalent is negative 2 over square root of 2. Now, how about s sub 3? So we know 0 times s sub 2 is 0. s sub 1 is also 0. So this is just square root of 2 times s sub 3 plus 3 equals 0. Solving for s sub 3, we have negative 3 over square root of 2. And that is a cubed plus b cubed plus c cubed. Now, how about s sub 4? So this is 0. s sub 1 is 0. So s sub 2, this will remain because the value of s sub 2 is negative 2 over square root of 2. Now, solving for s sub 4, add both sides 2 over square root of 2, then divide both sides by square root of 2, we get that s sub 4 equals 1. Or simply, a sub 4 plus b sub 4 plus a sub 4 equals 1. Finally, we want s sub 5. Now, 0 times s sub 4, this is 0. And s sub 3 and s sub 2, we have those values. s sub 2 is negative 2 over root 2. And s sub 3 is negative 3 over root 2. 
Now, combining these two terms, we have negative 5 over square root of 2. Now, add 5 over square root of 2 on both sides, then divide both sides by square root of 2, we get that S sub 5 is equivalent to 5 over 2. And that is A raised to the fifth power plus B raised to the fifth power plus C raised to the fifth power. And that is our answer to this question. Therefore, given this equation, square root of 2x cubed plus x plus 1 equals 0, wherein a, b, and c are the roots of this equation, then a raised to the p power plus b raised to the p power plus c raised to the p power, using two different methods, algebra approach and Newton sum, we get an answer of 5 over 2. And as always, we are done. Now, let's see if you learned something new today. So, answer this challenge question. Given 3x cubed plus 2x plus 1 equals 0, wherein, again, a, b, and c are the roots of this cubic equation, then the goal, your goal, is to find a raised to the p power plus b raised to the p power plus c raised to the p power. So, push your answer and solution on the comment section down below. So, see you on our next video.